I have no problem with you being um, LGBT people. No problem with homosexuals. I have no problem with um, transgenders. I have no problem with uh, all those uh, social justice problem uh, movement. The problem I have is that you are not are willing to do you yourself the least amount of thing. And that's actually extending your circle of compassion to other disenfranchised living beings who are also facing systematic oppression. And of course, I'm talking about the animals. How are even so systematic oppressions that you, people who are claimed to suffer from a systematic oppression, don't see them even as oppressed creatures. There are labeled as objects, there are numbered. Sometimes in statics, not even count as individuals, but just like with weight. Like William Ralph Inch did say, we have treated our cousins in fur and feathers so horribly. That without one doubt, if they ever formulate a religion, they will pick the devil in the form of the race of mankind, people. This statement break, did break my heart the day I didn't read it, and breaks my heart today, because they must see us like devils. If Malcolm X did see the white man as a devil, well, what the white men in the United States did do with a black man. And I know all the things about that the social justice movement there. So don't call me a racist. Be careful for throwing stones in somebody's glass house. Because I might be on your side. If you are willing to listen clearly and extend mercy and compassion to the most disenfranchised groups of living beings on the planet, the animals. One struggle, one fight, animal liberation. The root of all hatred is speciesism. The only reason you find it's offensive that somebody referred to you as a monkey or something like that. It's because you think you are more special than that animal, that living being. The word anima comes from the letter word anima, which means living being or soul. It is time to awaken. Peace begins on the dinner table. I see you next time. And choose kindness and decency over systematic discrimination and hatred. It is time that we are going to view this world in a more biocentric view because that's how I am convinced and I hope that if you are thinking about it, you are also convinced of it it's the only way we can ever create peace and justice and equality on this planet like I did say always the first forms of slavery did it actually evolve in the first countries, it also did uh, systematic oppress other animals. The oppression of one leads to the oppression of another. You don't can hate the you don't can hate the tree without hating the root of oppression, like Malcolm X did say.